Hey guys, what's going on? Lazy Modding here. And today we're going to be kind of going over on how to install the public i3D Blender add-on um, that has been done by members of the FS community. If you are looking for the official Giants um, i3D exporter that goes with Blender, that will come as a later date as to recording this video. Once I post that video, it will be linked in the description. So if you don't see a link in the description, there's a solid chance it is not done yet. So anyway, we're going to focus on the community um, one today. Like I said, this has been done by several members of the community that's been around since 19 and then it works in 22 as well now. Um, and it works with the latest Blender versions as far as I know. Um, so it is on GitHub, so it is kind of a um, non terribly official place, but um, if the link is within my description, it's going to be a solid source where I download stuff from. I'm not going to post sketchy stuff. That's not how I do this. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this started. So like I said, make sure to go and click the link in the description to go to this GitHub. Um, I don't know the how to pronounce the person's name that did this, but it is whatever this name is, and then i3D Blender add-on. If you don't want to go click the link in the description, you can probably just type in Giants i3D Exporter or Giants Blender, something like that, and I am sure there'll be a uh, link or something to get you to this GitHub. So, But like I said, recommended way is to just drop it within the description by clicking on that link it will just be easier in the long run so anyway let's get started rolling with this tutorial so you're going to open up this is kind of the home page for this project file we're going to go down to installation and then we'll have the latest blender versions along with the exporter version they currently do not have a 3 2.93 which is the blender version i am running but i have used this in 9 2.93 and it works fine so for those of you that are running version 3 or up, I don't know on Blender, but if you're running a 2.9, it probably works. So once you get here, um, if you are running an older Blender version, like 2.91, 2.9, and 2.83, um, you might click on their respective exporter version. There's a reason it's linked there. Uh, if you are on 2.92, 2.93, um, you can use the latest. So click on that, and it's going to download um, wherever you have it set to in my case I do have it set to the downloads folder so that's where we're gonna head to now so when we go open up our downloads folder it's gonna show up as i3d underscore exporter dot zip so this is gonna be a zip file that downloads from the browser or wherever you routed your file to it does not necessarily need to be in a specific place because when we import it into blender it will write its own files so it doesn't have to be in a certain area unless it doesn't work, but then I recommend following the instructions that are listed on the GitHub. So d leave this file zipped. That's how it's supposed to be. No need to unzip it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go open Blender. So type in Blender. And that's going to load up onto the screen. Like I said, I am running 2.93.6 in this case. And we're just going to start with just a general file. So here we have a cube. We're not really going to be looking at actually how to install this currently. Um, but say we were going to, or how to mess with the cube currently. But we are just going to kind of glance out. You quote unquote could export this out. So we have the cube selected. We're going to file export. Well, you don't see we don't have a i3D setting. This X3D is not an I3D. So we currently don't have a setting to export this out of Blender into Giants Editor. So we need to install the um, export add-on to be able to allow that to happen. So we're gonna go up to File, or correction, Edit, Edit, and then Preferences. So just to make sure I get that clear, go to Edit and Preferences. And it's gonna bring up this Blender Preference window um, should be at this, about the same size. I do have a few other um, 
add-ons that are already selected so don't mind those uh, but yeah so make sure you are set to add-ons over here on this left menu and then we can go to install uh, that is going to bring up blender's um, file explorer basically then we're going to go to our downloads because that's where we saved it or you can go wherever you saved the i3d underscore exporter zip file at and we're just going to click it so it pops in here then we're going to hit install add-on then whenever we look down here you can tell it installed because it just says modules installed and then it'll tell you where it came from and where it put it into it so like i said you don't need to actually go and unzip this file and put it anywhere all you have to do is import it into blender and it will automatically write where it needs to go by itself so now that we have that imported um whenever you do that it's going to automatically route to the actual add-on for it um if it does not do that you can actually just type in i3d and it's going to bring up um i have two of them installed just for convenience um like i said earlier in the video giants version will come at a later date i just haven't had time to do that one yet as it's a little bit more complicated um but so this bottom one we're going to need ex import slash export is what we're going to be using it's also the unofficial giants i3d exporter tools it's all here make sure that like this is how it should be and then you just hit this little check button right here um if you want to you can route your fs data folder in there i don't really haven't really used it to do that so i'm not too terribly worried about it um, but now that we have that selected and activated we're going to go to we're going to save preferences so now that it's in there you can close out of this window we're back to our cube now um, you don't even need to restart blender or anything so we have this cube selected we're going to go to back to file go to export and now we have the options for an i3d and you can put it wherever to get an i3d i will just drop this in the downloads folder that way so okay well maybe you do have to select you do not okay and then just to prove that it works correctly boom there's your cube from blender anyway i hope this guys helped you guys out a lot if this video does help please do hit that like and subscribe button as it really does help and we'll catch you all next time have a good one